Plasmic lets multiple people be in the same project at the same time making changes, but sometimes you might want to let people make changes in isolation from each other. One common example of this situation is maybe one person is finished with some changes and ready to publish, but another person is still in the middle of their changes and not ready to publish, so you don't want to accidentally publish some in-flight changes. Another example situation is maybe you want to let people make different changes, but then be able to review and approve those changes selectively before merging them back in. So Plasmic has a powerful feature called branching to help with these situations. This effectively lets you create your own branch or copy of the project, make your changes there, and then merge your changes back in and resolving any conflicts along the way. Let's see this in action in this simple one page project as an example. So let's go ahead and try to create a new branch. Now, all branches have to start from some published version, and this project actually already has some outstanding changes that aren't yet published. So let's go ahead and publish them and get that out of the way. All right, now let's try creating the branch again. Let's call this branch my change hero branch because I intend to change the hero section of the page. And maybe for the hero changes, um, the only things I'll do are I'll delete this uh, this tag here, and maybe I'll change the copy to say web designs instead of designs. And uh, I'll also adjust the spacing on the calls to action. Okay, that's it for my change hero branch. If I switch back to the main branch, you can see it's still the original version of the page without my changes, which haven't been merged yet from the branch. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, um, let's say another person in the meantime has also started a branch. They call theirs the change layout branch. And in this branch, I intend to just uh, maybe reorder the sections here a little bit. So I'll drag this to the top and then also uh, drag this one to the right. Um, and maybe that's it. Those are all the layout changes I'll make. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit publish on this branch. This lets me merge my changes back into the main branch. And we can see any conflicts that arise here. Uh, most of the time, you're not going to encounter conflicts. Um, so let's go ahead and just press merge to see these land back in the main branch. So we're now back in the main branch. And we can see that our reordered sections are in effect. And we can also see that the change layout branch has been archived now. If I switch back to the first branch that we created, the hero branch, we can go ahead and merge these back into the main branch as well. Again, there's no conflicting changes because we didn't actually change any elements on the page in a way that is directly stepping on each other's toes. So let's go ahead and hit merge. And now we're back in the main branch and we can actually see the changes from both branches in effect, including the updated copy and spacing, as well as the uh, reordered sections. So now let's see what happens when you are making changes in different branches and there's conflicts. Um, as an example of that, let's say I'm going to create a new branch called double prices. And in this branch, I'm just going to go ahead to this pricing section down here and change these to be double their original values. Okay. And uh, before I hit publish, let's switch back to the main branch which again is unchanged. And let's go ahead and create a new branch called triple prices. This represents somebody going ahead into the page and um, you know, uh, making some changes on the exact same set of elements and to the same property, which is the content. Um, but uh, they're, you know, these are different changes. So I'm going to go ahead and merge these tripled prices back into the main branch. So we can see back in the main branch, we have the tripled prices. Now I'm going to switch back to the double prices branch and try to merge these back in. We're going to see that now we have some conflicts getting reported. And we can uh, basically review the changes from each one. And also, um, you can just open up the project to visually inspect what the pages look like in each uh, branch. Um, but uh, let's say that in this example, I wanna keep the uh, the doubled prices. So I'm gonna keep this branch that we're on right now as the winner. And let's go ahead and merge that back in.
And now we can see we ultimately end up with the doubled prices instead of the tripled prices. So there's a lot more to branching, but that is branching in a nutshell. And it's really there to help you make your collaboration workflows scale in Plasmic.